Eric Jones is on the run. He's a monster in my eyes. Hiding out after allegedly gunning down his ex-wife, Janina Jefferson, outside her job at the Appalachia Water Treatment Plant. We have evidence. We feel is overwhelming evidence against Eric. The manhunt is on. Cops start searching in the secluded areas surrounding the water plant. We did ground searches, vehicle searches. Then we actually brought in choppers on three different occasions, and then a specially equipped airplane that has some of the most sensitive photography available. Flew all those areas that we possibly could with that device. There was no indication that Eric was in any of those areas, where there was a body or you know, they're hiding out in a cabin or tent. No sign of Eric Jones anywhere. But Jones has had practice running. He's done it before. Last time, he managed to elude capture for a couple of months. He hasn't changed at all. No. Not a bit. Jones may be enjoying his freedom right now, but cops tell her Michelle Sagona, one of his buddies, Jacob Roland, isn't as lucky. You've made one arrest so far. Yes, we have. An associate of Eric Jones's. And this person may have allegedly helped him prior to and after the incident. Is that correct? Correct. Part of his charge was the fact that he did transport him to the scene where Janina was murdered. Do you believe it's possible there could be other people out there who may have assisted him? I believe that there is, yes. Has his family been cooperative? I have spoken to his mother, God-fearing lady. She has been devastated by what has occurred. And I feel that she's being cooperative with us as, as much as she can. We wanted to talk to Jones's mom, Pastor Sandra Jones, to see what she knows about her son's whereabouts. This is the neighborhood where Eric Jones has the most contacts. In fact, his own mother lives right here. This is the truck he used to drive. We have no idea if Eric Jones's mother or any of his family members have been in contact with him, but we thought we would knock on the door just to see if we could find out. Mrs. Jones, Michelle Sagona here from Crime Watch Daily. I'm here about your son, Eric Jones. Doesn't appear anyone's home right now. Now, as Jones is so far walking free, Janina's eldest son, Trey, says he and his siblings are left to deal with what cops believe Jones savagely took from them. Are you angry? I was for a long time, yeah. What are you feeling right now? I don't know. I, uh, I do have closure. I don't let it eat at me every day, just because I know that she's in a better place. I don't want to say that I'm looking forward to being there, but I just knowing my, that my mom's watching me. Janina's friend April Hall is still in shock that her friend is gone. Sometimes it's just hard to breathe. breathe. This really happened. And she's haunted by the advice she gave her. Telling her, hey, don't worry, it's going to be OK. And. Uh, Gosh, that, that's the hardest thing for me every day. I, just, I think, why did I say that to her? Why did I say it was going to be okay? Because obviously it wasn't okay. Even cops are deeply affected by this heinous crime. It's been the hardest part for you about all of this. In the sense of the murder, is this family losing a loved one? And then in the sense of him not in custody, is he's out there walking free while this family suffers. It's not fair. Give me a minute. It's been almost a year since Eric Jones went on the lamp, and the U.S. Marshal Service has made this case a priority. In the, the realm of fugitive cases we work, this has been moved up to a major case for the U.S. Marshal Service, which means extra resources, extra financial assistance, extra eyes, extra inve investigators. And Crime Watch Daily has joined the hunt, helping law enforcement get the word out to everyone watching. Eric Jones is very charismatic, and he can cross all social boundaries, from street level gang members to church members to people who have status within the, their communities and is well liked by those people. Do you think he could be dating multiple women? He is very busy in that category. He likes women and, and multiple women. Somebody is, is dating him somewhere. 
This guy is as dangerous as they come, and we need to get him off the streets. If you've seen Eric Jones or know where he might be, call the Wise County Sheriff's Office at 276-328-3756 or submit a tip anonymously at CrimeWatchDaily.com. There's a cash reward for the person who provides information leading to his capture. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.